Okay, so yes, finally, <laughs> that's the last two parameters generally na makita in any chemistry uh, reagents. All right, so these two usually atong ginagamit for the evaluation of UTI, this last two. And uh, the first one is your nitrite. Now, your nitrite reaction, um, uh, it provides a rapid screening test for UTI, okay? But again, this does not mean na atong i-replace ang culture because for detection of UTI, usually, ang gold standard yun is mag-bacterial culture ta, okay? Because UTI, again, is caused by bacteria. Guys, ha, dili na siya kay mag-cause ka, mag-sigil ka mag, like, coke or like, mag ka as God. No, it's not. It's caused by bacteria, okay? So, again, gold standard yun nato is urine culture for diagnosing and monitoring bacterial infection. Pero for rapid screening test lang, pwede na ang nitrite. Why? Because urine contains um, nitrate, okay? And your bacteria can contain this enzyme, nitrate reductase or nitroso reductase. Now, not all bacteria has this enzyme. Usually, ang naaani na enzyme is your enterobacteriaceae or your enteric bacteria, mga naasay mo hang gut microflora. So, um, these are, again, the bacteria that may cause also UTI because, again, the most common cause of UTI is E. coli. Wala nang iba. Most common cause of E. coli, um, most common. Sabaw. Okay, most common cause of UTI is again E. coli. Okay, and E. coli has um, nitrate re uh, nitroso reductase. Again, that's an enzyme that converts nitrate to nitrite. Okay, that's why it can be used as a rapid screening test for UTI. Okay, all right. So your clinical significance again is cystitis. Can you guys? Please do not be confused. Cystitis and pyelonephritis are again bacterial infections, but they differ lang on the. Um, Location. If cystitis, gani, that's your lower UTI. So, mga bladder, imuhang urethra, inana. But for pyelonephritis, dito na na siya sa taas, mga kidney, uh, especially sa renal parenchyma. Um, so, kato na mga renal pyramids, dito na pit sa sulud na. That's pyelonephritis and cystitis. In microscopic exam of urine, we have a different way to differentiate the two. But for now, again, please take note, cystitis, lower UTI, and pyelonephritis is upper UTI. But both of them are caused by bacteria. Okay? Evaluation of antibiotic therapy, of course, we detect if ni, ni work bang antibiotic against the bacteria. Kay of course, if wala na yung bacteria, then your nitrite will be negative. Kay wala na yung convert sa nitrate to nitrite. Okay? And of course, monitoring of patients at high risk for UTI and screening for urine culture specimens. Okay? Why? Because again, we can detect already na, ah, okay, positive siyang nitrite. That means na ay presence of bacteria. So, pwede siyang i-culture or na kayo ma-expect na tubo from the culture. Okay, if negative na siyang nitrite, then that could mean na, again, um, maybe wala na kagaw dito. Or, na ay kagaw but they don't have the nitroso reductase enzyme. Okay, inana. Alright. Okay. So, the principle is the GRICE or GRACE reaction. Um, we use a pa para arsenic acid or sulfanilamide plus nitro uh, nitrous oxide uh, yeah and in the presence of um, acid move form of diazonium salt and the diazonium salt plus the, the tetrahydrobenzokinolin will now um, uh, produce um, the pink azurite nitrite then guys sorry sabaw na jukoron okay so in the presence of nitrite um mo combine siya first with the p arsenic acid to form the diazonium salt and the diazonium salt now combines with tetrahydrobenzokinolin to produce a pink azurite okay and the reagents is again munisha how to remember Kinolin, kinolin, nitrite, yan. Okay. Kinolin, 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 basta na kinolin, nitrite, yan. Okay? Alright. Okay. And color changes are again from negative to positive any degree of pink. Okay? Increasing shades of pink. Alright? Pink. Ayan. Okay. And for interference, you have um, number one is false positive improperly preserved specimens. Because again, um, because of improperly preserved specimens where bacteria continuously converts nitrate to nitrite. Therefore, mas daghang um, concentrations of nitrite, therefore, mo false positive siya. And um, highly pigmented urine contributes again to the pigments or the colors of the reagent strip na positive. Okay? And for false negative, kanin siya akong point, non-reductase containing bacteria. There are some bacteria that may cause UTI, example, Staphylococcus saprophyticus, they don't have reductase na enzyme. So, dili siya mo positive sa nitrite, but the patient is experiencing UTI. Okay? So, muna siya, non-reductase containing bacteria. You have insufficient contact time. Again, bahalag, you know, na ay bacteria dito and ay nitrite, uh, nitrate, there should be sufficient contact time para mag-cause og reaction between the bacteria and the nitrate na convert to nitrite. So therefore, dapat na ay 
insufficient contact time. Now, let's say, pag test ni mo sa imuhang urine, wala pa kayo ni produce o nitrite ang bacteria from nitrate, then, of course, pwede siya ma-false negative. Okay. Lack of urinary nitrate, of course, because maybe wala na dyan siya nitrate or nas, na convert na tanan. Okay? Alright? Or if wala dyan siya nitrate, so of course, wala i-convert ang bacteria to nitrite. And if tulong na po kaayo, the nitrite is now converted to nitrogen. So wala na yung ma-detect na nitrite. And of course, the presence of antibiotics, because of antibiotics, um, wala na yung na mo convert sa nitrate to nitrite. Therefore, ma false negative. And last is, of course, high ascorbic acid. Because again, high ascorbic acid, it competes with the diazonium zot sa mubain sa tetrahydrobenzokinolin. Therefore, wala na, din na ma-detect ang na-form na diazonium salt between P. arsenalic acid and nitrite. Gets? So, if na high ascorbic acid, mo-compete siya, magbida-bida, magpabibo siya, mo-join siya sa diazonium, uh, mo-join siya sa, mo-compete siya sa diazonium salt for tetrahydrobenzokinolin. Therefore, dili na ma-detect ang diazonium salt na naang nitrite. Therefore, negative. And, of course, high spec graph, uh, low sensitivity. Dili na ma-detect ang nitrite because of other, the presence of other solutes. Okay? Alright, so, so false, negative. Okay. Alright. And the last <laughs> parameter general in a, um, in a general uh, reagent strip is your leukocyte esterase. Now, again, these two, nitrite and leukocyte esterase, gonna detect nato na siya for um, uh, UTI. Because again, leukocyte esterase, found niya in your granulocytic white blood cells. So, you have Ben, basophils, eosinophils, and neutrophils. Like Ben and Ben, charot, so Ben. And also monocytes, but not your lymphocytes. Other organisms or other cells na naay esterases daw are your trichomonas. Trichomonas. Adri na lang. Trichomonas and histocytes. Histocytes, guys, are example of macrophages. Macrophages that are found in tissues. Okay? Ang histocytes. Okay? Alright. So, macrophages na naasa tissues. And so, trichomonas and histocytes, they also contain esterases. And again, please take note, granulocytic white blood cells, ha? so you have your BEN, basophils, eosinophils, and neutrophils. And these, and monocytes. So, usually, kani sila for mga ma activate through bacterial infection. Usually, mo undergo na slag phagocytosis, right? And of course, not your lymphocytes. Okay? So, muna siya. So, here example. Of course, kabulo na po na mo identify no mga cells. These are your basophils, your lymphocyte, neutrophils, and uh, mac macrophage. Sorry, sorry naman. <laughs> macrophage. Your eosinophils and your neutrophils. Okay. Alright. Sorry, di ba? Nag-tugatuga pa kung... <laughs> I hate HEMA. Okay, sorry. All right. A positive LE test is, again, mostly frequently accompanied by the presence of bacteria. Because, again, you know, your white blood cells, medyo gamay lang ato ang naadira sa ato ang normal sa ihi. But, again, in presence of bacterial infection, daghan yun ang white blood cells. Hence, increase po ang um, esterase level. Therefore, mo positive yun siya glucoside esterase. So, usually, mo correlate, if mag-suspect ang UTI, um, usually lang tawag ni mo ang nitrite and LE. If positive na sila, then could be, it could be um, UTI good. Alright, again, clinical significance, bacterial and non-bacterial UTI, because again, you know, there are other causes of esterase, diba? Trichomonas also produces esterase. And you have, of course, bacterial. Alright? Um, inflam inflammation of the urinary tract, because again, of the presence of white blood cells, um, then um, of those granulocytic white blood cells may um, result or may mean an eye inflammation sa UTI. And screening of urine culture is still the same, because again, um, if positive kag esterase, that means... Um, there is an infection, bacterial infection, because na may white blood cells. So, meaning, for culture, na kay makitaan or mag-expect na ka na ay tubo yung culture, na ay colonies na mag-grow. Alright? Alright. And for the principle, that's your leukocyte esterase reaction. Very easy to remember. Okay, leukocyte esterase ang test, mupod ang name sa iyahang <laughs> uh, principle, okay? So, it uses an, an ester, and in the presence of the leukocyte esterase, it, com it uh, produces an aromatic compound, endoxyl and an acid. And this um, aromatic compound combines with the diazonium salt to produce a purple azodye. Okay? And the reagents are... I don't know remember. I think it's um, acid ester. Acid ester. Yeah, please remember. Acid ester, acid ester, leukocyte esterase. Yan. Okay. Alright. And now for the color changes, usually for violet, increasing shades of purple. Okay. Yes. Bakit? Bakit, nag, bakit pinili mo ang purple leukocyte esterase? Army ka ba? <laughs> Joke lang. Okay, army ka ba? Okay, so increasing shades of purple. Okay. <laughs> All right, and for interference, false positive oxidizing agents because as you can see, it it you know amplifies the reaction. 
formalin, okay, false positive, and highly pigmented urine. Nitrofurantoin is an antibiotic um, that's usually used for UTI. But in this case, ma false positive because again, it interacts with the um, diazonium salt. Okay? Now, for false negative, high concentrations of protein, glucose, oxalic acid, gentamicin, cephalosporins, these are again example of antibiotics. False negative because again, dula na kagaw in a way or ma suppress na ang activity sa mga white blood cells. Alright? And ascorbic acid, it competes with the diazonium salt, hence ma false negative po siya. Okay. Alright, so basically that's all for um, and up a high spec graph. So again, same reason, low sensitivity na. Because again, of too much other solutes, dili na detect ang, could be, na dili na detect ang leukocyte esterase. Okay, so that's for the general na parameters. Now we go now to your additional parameters. First is, of course, your microalbumin. Same ratio with protein, protein error of indicators. Your, print, your agent is quite long, diiodo, dihydroxy, dinitrophenyl, tetrabromo, sulfon, phthalene. Okay, so DID and TB. Did not be. Okay? Alright. I, I will not require you to memorize them, but please familiarize for microalbumin. Microalbuminuria is about 20 to 200 mg per L of um, albumin. Again, as I mentioned, microalbuminuria is the earliest indicator of diabetic nephropathy. Your colors again, pale green to aqua blue. That's for microalbumin. Next, you also have your creatinine. For principle niya, same siya with blood, pseudoperoxidase activity of the copper creatinine complexes. Pero for blood ha, it's pseudoperoxidase activity of hemoglobin. Dili, <laughs> same slug point na pseudoperoxidase activity. Kani generally or originally, wala gina siya enzyme activity. But it has a peroxidase-like activity. Okay? Alright. So, copper sulfate plus the creatinine, uh, copper creatinine complex, mahimo siyang, um, uh, in the presence of the peroxidase, um, it now, um, basically, yeah, yeah, kanin copper, uh, kanin na siya na complex, it serves as the peroxidase. And this um, oxidizes the TMB uh, together with the peroxide to produce an oxidized chromogen, okay, and H2O. And muni siya atong gina uh, measure, okay? Alright. And the reagents are copper sulfate, tetramethylbenzidine, which is your chromogen, and diisopropyl benzene dihydroperoxide, okay? Alright, that's for creatinine. Colors orange through green to blue. Now, why do we need to measure creatinine? Usually, mga good guys, we measure it. Uh, we need to know the value of albumin, uh, creatinine to create an albumin creatinine ratio. That's in your Strassinger. Usually, we need to uh, determine that to determine uh, the extent also of um, renal damage. Okay? Um, Nai ratio ana para mo detect if okay pa ba, uh, normal pa ba or abnormal. Okay? That's why we measure creatinine because we compare it with uh, albumin. Okay? To form an, the albumin creatinine ratio. Okay, and the last additional parameters, of course, ascorbic acid. Nga naman, kay pabibo siya, dagan kay siya, in, ma-interfere ng mga other parameters. And the principle is decolorization. Your reagent is dichlorophenol endophenol. Um, and colors niya is decreasing blue color. So basically, wala ragi elaborate <laughs> di ba? But ang point lang ani is, we measure ascorbic acid because it interferes with a lot of parameters. And these are the parameters. You have BB lang. BB lang. Ayan. You have blood, bilirubin, leukocyte esterase, nitrite, and glucose. BB lang. Okay? BB lang. Alright? BB lang. Alright. Muna siya yung ma-interfere sa ascorbic acid. Kaya pa bibo siya. And of course, because again, this is a reducing agent. So, it cancels the activity of the oxidase. And aside from that, siya noon ang ma- uh, siya noon ang magpabibo. Instead of the chromogen na ma-oxidize, siya noon ang magpa-oxidize. So, therefore, wala like color production na may tabo. And, you know, the, mesh, the concentration of the solute or kanisha, analyte, bilin na noon ma-measure. Okay? Ang sa ganito mga interferences or inter substances na ma-interferes ascorbic acid, BB lang. Blood, bilirubin, leukocyte, nitrite, and glucose. Alright. Okay. So, basically, that's all for the parameters. That's quite a lengthy discussion, okay? And for the last part of the video, we'll talk about handling and storage and maybe a summary na lang of, the, of all the principles, uh, of all the reagent strip parameters, okay? All right.